welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is I Am a Great Friend by Lauren Stoller. Well, captiveries, they walk around with birds on their back. The birds like them because they're calm and gentle and they just like to ride around on their back. Well, this little capybara, he does not have birds on his back because he's kind of wild. He likes to run and jump and play in the water and the birds don't like that. But he does everything he can to try to be calm so the birds will like him. Let's find out what happens. A family of capybaras lived at the edge of a big, cool pond. On the muddy banks, they munched leaves with their soft gray snouts. They took long, luxurious naps. When the sun got hot, they floated peacefully in the water, swirling their cute webbed toes. They went about their capybara business kindly and calmly, which made them perfect friends for the other animals who came to the pond to relax. And nearly every capybara carried a bevy of birds on their back. Except for one. Pow! Foosh! Skid! Hmm. I don't get it, said baby capybara. I do fun stuff. I blow bubbles, I play the drums, I made an obstacle course. So where's my birds? Those things sound very fun, his mama said, for you. But if you want bird friends, you have to do what birds like. Float calmly, nap quietly, and eat slowly. I can do what, said baby capybara. And he did. He chewed every mouthful of his juicy green leaves 100 times. He floated so calmly that he didn't make a ripple. And he napped so quietly that when he woke, I got birds! Baby Capybara's new birds were beautiful, and there were so many. He couldn't wait to show them what a great friend he was. Off they went, rock climbing, hill rolling, pond jumping, fruit squishing, and capybara dodging. Baby capybara was so thrilled that he could barely feel the birds on his back. It was as if they weren't there at all. Oh, they weren't. Ugh, cried baby capybara. I'm sorry about your birds, his mama said. Come snuggle. No said baby capybara. I don't want to. I want my birds back. I want to do fun stuff with them, like follow treasure maps and sing really loud and make mud pies. I mean, who eats a whole mud pie all by themselves? It doesn't even taste good that way. It's not fair. Why doesn't anybody like what I like? Baby Capybara felt sad and lonely and a little upset. He watched everyone else enjoying their pretty, peaceful birds. I am not the problem here, he gurgled. I am fun. I am fascinating. I am a great friend. You are loud. So what? I like it. Look what I can do. Splish, splash, bloop, smack, splat, splash. Huh, that's pretty great, but... Can you play the drums? Can you stealth wiggle? Can you balance a million melons? Can you ride the ultimate mudslide? Look out below! Splash! What is going on? asked baby capybara's mama. You will never get your bird, birds back by being loud and splashy especially not with all those crocodile teeth nearby. I'm not a crocodile. I'm a caiman, said baby caiman. I like long wriggles on the beach and hiding on logs, and my mother taught me never to eat my friends. That's very nice, said Mama. But don't you want your birds, baby capybara? Plip, ploop. Be home for dinner, sweetheart. 
Well, I guess he decided he liked having the little caiman for a friend instead of the birds, didn't he? Because the birds didn't want to have any fun. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.